children will continue with our next video and the topic exercise 13.2 itself the next four questions 5 9 10 and 11 a cylindrical pillar is 50 cm in diameter and 3.5 meter in height so here we are talking about a pillar what is the shape of the pillar it is cylindrical just underline the shape cylindrical pillar the diameter of the pillar is given to be 50 centimeter and height is given to be 3.5 meter find the cost of painting the curved surface of the pillar at the rate of rupees 12.50 per meter square we need to find the cost of painting the curved surface of the pillar at the rate of rupees 12.50 per meter square the ultimate unit here coming is meter here we had a centimeter here we have a meter so two different units we have to convert it to one single unit and we need to find the total cost of painting and where is the painting done on the curved surface of the pillar and what is the shape of the pillar cylindrical pillar we are having so first we will find the CSA and then we will find the total cost of painting so what all things are given right now diameter is given as 50 centimeter so what will be radius 50 by 2 which is equal to 25 centimeter since it is centimeter we can convert it to meter 25 by 100 0 0.25 meters then height of the cylindrical pillar is given to be 3.5 meter we can find the CSA what is the formula 2 pi RH 2 into 22 by 7 into what is the radius 0 0.25 into 3.5 to do the simplification you can remove the decimal you can write it in the fraction form also so 0.25 will become 25 by 100 or 1 by 4 3.5 can be written as 35 by 10 in any way either you can multiply with decimals or you can write it in smaller terms and then simplify and you will get the answer and you will after the simplification you will get the answer as 11 by 2 meter square now we have to find the total cost of painting now total cost of painting cost of painting 1 meter square is equal to rupees 12.50 therefore total cost of painting how many meters square we are having 11 by 2 meter square is equal to 11 by 2 into 12.50 since it is a cost unit will be in rupees and the answer will be point seven five cost of painting one meter square is rupees twelve point five zero therefore total cost of painting eleven by two meter square will be eleven by two into twelve point five zero after calculation we will get the answer as rupees sixty eight point seven five that means total cost of painting is equal to CSA into 
cost per meter square. CSA we got it as 11 by 2. Cost of the painting per meter square is 12.50. When you multiply, you will get the answer. Next question. Find, there are two subdivisions there. Find CSA of a cylindrical tank that is 4.2 meter in diameter and 4.5 meter high. The first question is a direct question. They have asked you to find the CSA. 4.2 is the diameter, 4.5 meter is the height. So first we will do the CSA. Diameter is 4.2 meter. So what will be the radius? Diameter by 2. Which is equal to 2.1 meter. Height of the cylindrical tank is given as 4.5 meter. So CSA will be direct application of the formula 2 pi RH 2 into 22 by 7 into 2.1 into 4.5. 7 and 2.1 you can cancel. You can write it as 0 0.3 and you will get the answer as 59.4 meter square. Okay. Radius is given. Height is given. Therefore, CSA 2 pi RH 2 into 22 by 7 into 2.1 into 4.5. Simplify, you will get the answer as 59.4 meter square. So, that is the first subdivision. Now, our second subdivision. How much steel was actually used if one twelfth of the steel actually used was wasted in making the tank. Now they have said that cylindrical tank was made up of steel and one twelfth of the steel was wasted. The, so the question is how much steel was actually used in making the cylindrical tank. So for that first we will find the total surface area of the tank. Formula TSA 2 pi r into H plus r 2 into 22 by 7 into what was the radius? 2.1 height 4.5 plus 2.1. Again, do the addition first. Whatever inside the bracket, you can do it first. And then simplify. You will get the answer as 87.12 meter square. Let the actual area of the steel used equals x meter square. That is what we have to find. Actual area of the steel used. Since it is unknown, we are writing it as x meter square. Area of the steel wasted. They have said in the question, the area of the steel one, uh, wasted is equal to one twelfth of the steel used. How much steel was used? x meter square steel was used. So, area of the steel wasted is equal to 1 twelfth of x which is equal to x by 12 meter square. Therefore, area of the steel used will be x minus x by 12. Take the LCM and simplify. You will get 12x minus x by 12 which is equal to 11x by 12 meter square. Therefore, area of the steel used is equal to 11x by 12. But here, we have found out that area of the steel 
used for making water tank is 87.12. So 87.12 is equal to 11x by 12. Cross multiply 87.12 into 12 by 11 will give you the actual area of steel used. When you simplify, you get the answer as 95.04 meter square. Actual area of the steel used is equal to x meter square. We need to find that unknown variable x. Now from this x, x by 12 of the area of the steel was wasted. So how much steel was used? 11x by 12. So 11x by 12 is equal to 87.12. So you will get the value of x as 95.04 meter square. Tenth question. Lamp shade is to be covered with a cloth. There is a picture also given in the textbook. The shape of the lamp shade is cylindrical shape. Lamp shade is to be covered with a cloth. The frame has a base diameter of 20 centimeter and a height of 30 centimeter. That is marked here in the figure. Diameter is 20, so radius is 10 centimeter. Height is given as 30 centimeter. A margin of 2.5 centimeter cloth is used for covering the top and bottom of the frame. Find how much cloth is required. So there is a lamp shade. The height of the lamp shade is given as 30 centimeter. Now a cloth is taken to cover the lamp shade. And they have said that a margin of 2.5 centimeter is used for covering the top and bottom of the frame. So here I am taking extra cloth. Let us say the cloth needed to cover the top is 2.5 centimeter and the cloth required to cover the bottom part is also 2.5 centimeter. So now what is the total height of the lampshade including the cloth to cover the height will be 30 plus 2.5 plus 2.5. 2.5 plus 2.5 will be 5, 30 plus 5 will be 35 centimeter. Now we need to find how much cloth is required. It is a cylindrical shaped lamp shade. So we need to cover the lamp shade. Which part? The curved surface area part we need to cover it. So we need to find the area of the cloth required. Diameter is given to be 20, so radius will be 20 by 2, 10 centimeter. Height of the lampshade is 30, but when cloth is taken to cover the top and bottom part, we get the new height to be 30 plus 2.5 plus 2.5, which is equal to 35 centimeter. Now we need to find the area of the cloth. CSA, curved surface we are covering. 2 pi RH formula. 2 into 22 by 7 into radius is 10, height is 35. 7 goes in 35, 5 times. 2 into 22, 44 into 50. And the answer 44 into 50 will be 2200 centimeter square. So this will be the area of the cloth required. So when you get a question of this type, read the question nicely, draw the figure and then try to do it. 11th question. The students of a Vidyalaya were asked for making pen holders in the shape of cylinders with a base. So you can read the question, it is in the textbook. You know, 
students of a particular vidyalaya were asked there was a competition they were asked to find make and decorate pen holders with a base each pen holder is of radius 3 cm and height 10.5 cm radius is given as 3 cm height is given as 10.5 cm the school was to supply the competitors with cardboard if there were 35 competitors how much cardboard was required so there is a school they are uh, asking the children to make and decorate a pen holder pen holder just imagine a pen holder in cylindrical shape radius is given as 3 cm height is given as 10.5 cm and the pen holders are supposed to be made with cardboard how many competitors are there how many students are there for this competition 35 students are there if there were 35 competitors how much cardboard was required how much cardboard is required to for 35 students to make pen holders and when you imagine a pen holder where you put the pen the top part is open so we need to find the surface area of a pen holder how will you find the surface area of a pen holder you need to find the curved surface as well as the area of the bottom one suppose i'm having a paper with me this is a shape of a pen holder where i put my pens the open top part is open the bottom part is closed how will i find the area of the pen holder i need to find the curved surface plus the area of the bottom of the pen holder and what shape is it it will be circular shape so shall we do the problem so pen holder the shape of the pen holder is cylindrical shape radius is given to be 3 cm height is given to be 10.5 cm pen holder is open at the top so the surface area of the pen holder is equal to curved surface area plus one base area and the curved surface area formula 2 pi rh plus one base area base area of circle which will be pi r square you can substitute the values for r and h and you can get the surface area of a pen holder here pi and r is common so i'm just taking it out so what is left 2h plus r 22 by 7 into what is the radius 3 2 into 10.5 plus 3. Do the simplification, and you will get the answer as 1584 by 7 centimeter square. You can do the calculation in your working column. and then you will get the answer as 1584 by 7 cm square how many such pen holders are there there for surface area of 35 pen holders will be equal to 35 into 1584 by 7 7 goes in 35 5 times 5 into 1584 you will get the answer as 7920 cm square this much this much cardboard is required for making 35 pen holders then of this exercise question number 6 7 and 8 are homework questions okay i hope this question is clear to you there is a pen holder in cylindrical shape top part of the pen holder is open 
If the top part is open, how will I find the surface area of the pen holder? CSA plus 1 base area. Calculate. You will get 1584 by 7. How many such pen holders are there? 35 pen holders are there. When I multiply 35 into 1584 by 7, I get the answer as 7920 centimeters square. Thank you.